Hello my friends, welcome to Goof and Giggle Facebook page and Goof and Giggle Storytime YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. We have another truck book today and this one's a truck stop by Norma Rockwell. Here we go, lots of trucks. Do you love trucks? Truck stop. Early each morning, the sun isn't up when we get busy at our truck stop. Mom and Dad and me. Our truck is right beside the main highway heading north and south. Every morning I squeeze the orange juice Dad cuts fries, sausage, and bacon, and Mom starts up the coffee. Soon, Uncle Marty turns on the lights to the garbage, to the service garage. Another good morning has come. I love it when the trucks start rolling in. Their lights are bright in the dim, dark morning. I know each and every one of the regulars that comes to our truck stop. I love how they come rumbling their wheels and with their air brakes whooshing. I love how the smell of the diesel fills the air. That's a big truck. Do you like watching big trucks? I do. 18-wheeler is the first to arrive. Sam, his driver, asks Uncle Marty to check all 18 tires. Good morning, he says to me. One coffee and bacon and eggs over easy, says Mom. You bet, says Sam. Milk Truck and Macy are next. The big silver tank glows in the early pink dawn. One coffee and donuts coming up, I call, even before Macy sits down at the counter. Did you hear that truck carries milk? Isn't that fun? Diligent Dan's moving van is next. The usual, asks Mom. You bet, sausage and pancakes, says Dan, with plenty of syrup, he adds. Has your family ever used a moving van to move to a house or an apartment? We have. They're big, aren't they? Where's Green Gus, says 18-wheeler eight, says Sam. Yes, where's Green Gus, asks Macy and Dan. Green Gus is an old green pickup that rattles and clanks as it rolls, always getting there. Green Gus is always carting something here and there. But where is Green Gus this morning? No one has seen Green Gus today. Not heading north, not heading south. Did you look both ways too? I don't see Green Gus either. Flatbed pulls into the stop with lots of loud cranking and swooshing, carrying digger to wherever needs digging. Orange juice, black coffee, and a blueberry muffin are what flatbed driver always wants. What do you like to have for breakfast? That sounds yummy. 
Now our stop is filled with good smells of coffee brewing, bacon frying, eggs sizzling sunny side up or over, easy. It's filled with the good sounds of morning too. Hard working friends talking before they hit the road again. Some heading north, some heading south. Pete and Priscilla's tow truck comes next. Have you seen green gas? Everyone asks. But Pete and Priscilla say no. You think they're getting worried a little bit? I think so. You know what this is. Suddenly, big yellow bus is here. Big yellow bus has come for me, as it always does each weekday morning at the very same time. I pick up my backpack and run to the bus. It's time for me to go to school. He's waving to all the drivers. On the old blacktop road through the woods, I suddenly see Green Gus parked all alone on the side of the road with a very sad driver. Please call the tr truck stop to say I have found Green Gus. I ask the best bus driver and that's what she does. He helped, didn't he? Pete and Priscilla's tow truck is on the way. They'll tow Green Gus to our truck stop where Uncle Marty will see what's wrong with and fix Green Gus. And the driver will have bacon and eggs sunny side up. Then all the trucks can go on their way again, including Green Gus. Tomorrow I'll say good morning again when they come to our truck stop by the side of the highway where the big road heads north and south. Wasn't that a great book? I love that. Really fun. It would be fun to go to a truck stop sometime and see all those big trucks, wouldn't it? Thank you for joining me on the Goof and Giggle Facebook page and the Goof and Giggle Storytime YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye.